Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 again. I know I've been um, on and off this project for a few days. Um, I'm still sick, but uh, I'm getting better. But anyway, this has been keeping me occupied. And as you can see, I finally took it, the uh, circuit off the breadboard, which is over there actually, and put it on uh, this little Radio Shack proto board. And so far, it's it's exactly the same software. I haven't really touched the software yet, but I have. Um, I've included a little uh, multi-turn um, potentiometer there, so you can manually tweak it. So right now it's boosting up to about 50 volts, driving the um, the the grids and the anodes here. And so this is the boost regulator circuitry in there. That this guy's the inductor. Uh, that guy's the output capacitor. This is the input filter capacitor for the entire 5 volt logic and everything. Um, this is the ribbon cable going to the um, the VFD module, and uh, I just put, you know, filtering caps on the um, not just the um, high voltage but also the logic supply because it never hurts. And as you can see, it works. Um, that flicker isn't apparent in real life, and but other than that. All I got to do is add some switches, add the real-time clock module. I left plenty of space for that. And um, I can actually button up this project. I have a really cool idea um, <clears throat> using, if you see on um, Lady Ada's site, they sell an ice, I think it's called ice tube. It's uh, the same VFD. Um, but oddly, theirs looks blue. Mine looks kind of green. So I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, um, it's a clock based off of this tube. And this is sort of, you know, in homage to that, this is uh, very similarly designed, albeit they use an AVR, I prefer picks. You know, apples to oranges, whatevs. But anyway, um, yeah, so this clock will be essentially, you know, in homage to that. So in accordance with that, I've decided to, um, I got some scrap uh, acrylic or um, plexiglass, some clear uh, plastic that I'm going to make a case Sorry about that. It seems I only ever get calls when I'm making videos. So anyway, um, yeah, so it basically all works. As I said, I just have to add a few more components, write some software, uh, put it in a, uh, a clear case of some sort, and all will be good. So um, until then, I'll give you guys another update. So bye.